Greetings, brethren. I just want to go over that phrase that is so so encouraging to we Christians to say that God is in control. But I'd like us to have it in perspective, really, to the biblical aspect of it. Uh, to say God is in control does not mean that he is absolutely controlling every event that happens. You understand what I mean. He's not behind the mass murders. He didn't want this. These things are still under his umbrella, but it is not his desire that it should be this way. He has allowed us the choice to follow him. He also allowed his angelic host, all of his, all of his creation, to follow him. And so we need to look at it in this perspective. For example, there are several places in two chapters in the Bible. This is the King James Bible. In Romans chapter 8 and in Ephesians chapter 1, we will find that term predestinate, how things were predestinated. But if you will look at these scriptures, and again, I will have a list of these scriptures in the description below. Uh, what I think it's referring to here is that Jesus was, was predestinated to die for our sins and that we were predestinated to be saved through him. It's not a question of that, you know, everything we do every day was predestinated by him. And if you read through the Bible, you're going to find plenty of places that allow for the choices of individuals and also for God's choice and changing his mind. And I ask that you would just allow the word of God to speak for itself in these matters. We know that God is the creator of everything. So we see in places like Isaiah 45, 7, it says, I, the Lord, create the evil and the good. Sometimes you might read in a place, I kill and I make alive. I, the Lord, do these things. But remember that in Genesis 1, at the end of that chapter, it's saying how God created all of these things and they were very good. Sin had not come into the world. Satan had not yet deceived and overthrown. Remember that God has created, but he is not directly making the evil. It is evil, but all of creation is there. If you see someone like an Adolf Hitler, well, mankind was created by God. But he didn't tell Hitler to go and kill six million Jews. He didn't do that. And so this evil uh, was not there at the beginning. Our choices, our direction have made it evil. But the way God made it from the beginning was very good. We also see that there is the role of Satan in all of this. The role of Satan, he is the God of this world. He, is, he really rules the kingdoms of this world, and he, he tempted Jesus with this. But still he was subordinate to God the Father. As he testifies in Job chapters 1 and 2, when God has set a hedge of protection around his servant Job, but also even in Luke 4, when Jesus is being tempted by the devil, you know, the devil is testifying that he's been given this. But Jesus says, no, you serve the Lord God and you worship him only. That's what you do. So there is kind of this, you know, God is like the CEO, but there is the president of the world, the God of this world, and that is the devil. And he has a role, and we ought to respect it. But then we are allowed, by the grace of God through Jesus, to go right to the CEO and ask him to make a difference. We can also see this matter of choice coming about when the Bible says that God wants all men to be saved. But he also says through Jesus that few will be saved, and that broad is the path of destruction. So you see, God is allowing us choices, isn't he? And these are choices we ought to take very seriously. It really is an honor, uh, but I don't think that we will feel very honored if the wrath of God abides on us in the end. But God is still in control, even though things are not turning out the way he ideally would like them to. And we see that he wants things to change. There's our interaction when he's telling us always to pray, to continue on, not to grow weary and faint, that we will reap in due season, that we must put away, you know, what lies behind and, and press forward to, toward perfection. We can see, yes, God is in control, but we have a duty. And it is our actions, it is our choices that will, that will make a difference. God will hear our prayers, and then he will act upon his creation in doing these things. It is a great comfort to know that God is in control. 
Sometimes our circumstances may seem to indicate otherwise, but we can go to our Father because of Jesus Christ. We can beseech Him, and He will make, let's say, a new reality. My wife and I have this phrase, reality is what God makes it to be. So be encouraged in your faith. Remember indeed that God is in control, but it's up to us to put Him on the throne of our hearts every day. May God bless you.